Hello everyone, welcome in, good afternoon. I am a little bit late. We've had some little last minute um, technical things to deal with. Actually speaking of that right now, I'll explain myself further in a minute. Just let me check something real quick. So, so I love noticing this stuff as soon as I go live. I just want to check something real quick. Hello Arm, um, hello Irk. How are you both doing? Uh, I thought I hadn't done this, okay. Um, let's just get that added on. That should improve the quality of my microphone. Is my microphone sounding okay? This should be pretty, pretty good. Uh, what I did last night, I spent a little bit of time on my... I've just realised my chat box isn't working either, is it? Brilliant. Spent a little bit of time faffing around with OBS. Uh, reason being, tonight I'm going to be trying my first... Uh, oh, hang on. There we go. But tonight I'm going to be trying my first vertical YouTube stream. What do you mean I'm small? No, that's fine. It's all appearing like it should. That's fine. Um, tonight I'm going to try my first vertical live stream on YouTube. So I made a second profile on OBS last night. Oh, it's working now. Beautiful. So as part of that, I've ended up really changing around the uh, general overlay as well. So this is sort of like the first test of it, if you like. I've made it a little bit more streamlined. I've taken away a lot of things that were... Kind of like hanging around from ages ago. Some of it was hidden, some was there, but I didn't really need it anymore. So I decided just to make it a little bit more um, clean, a bit a bit more of a clean stream without so much stuff that can be connected going wrong and all that kind of thing. So I'm just doing a quick look to make sure that everything is actually connected as it should be because this is a new version of OBS as well. I am... Um, actually downloaded the update for it and it hasn't liked everything with my PC so far so I'm late because I had to do a driver update it wouldn't let me go live and I had problems with all my extensions but everything seems fine so I think we are good I think we are absolutely fine oh hopefully alerts are working alerts are working everything's working love to see it Fitty. I've got 69 meetings today. Please save me. Happy I'm, Monday. I'm so sorry, Fit. I'm so sorry. Happy Monday. 69 meetings is not a nice amount of meetings, though. It's usually a nice amount, but when it comes to meetings, I'd say not so much. But thank you so much for the 39 months. I hope they go by quickly and painlessly, Fitty. I feel, I feel you. Oh, 45 minutes to chill before the next one. Good. You can have a little bit of a breather. They're exhausting, aren't they? They are absolutely exhausting. So if you've just joined, I've been playing around with all my bits and pieces here. This is my first stream since I've changed my overlay a little bit. I've really pared it back to be super sort of slick and less stuff going on. So let me know if anything goes a little bit haywire while we are uh, gaming because I've got, a, I've got a new driver update that I've installed. I'm hoping that it's going to make the gameplay a bit smoother. There's been a few things that I haven't been real happy about with performance-wise on the PC and with the stream lately. So, that's working. Fucking tits, isn't it? So, this should solve a few of my problems and it's going to be a good time. Now, one thing, if you are, if anyone is in here listening who is a streamer, it does seem like the newest OBS does not like the Stream Deck software. So my Stream Deck is not currently working for me to change scenes with OBS. I have to do that manually at the moment. So I'm hoping that they're going to get that sorted because that's a bit of a pickle. It's a bit of a pickle, but we're here. All right, now let us continue. Hello running, welcome back. How was your weekend? How was your weekend? So today we are on the supermarket sim it is a really slick little operation that we are starting to create here. So I've expanded the supermarket just a wee bit. I'm nearly, I'm on level 25, I'm nearly level 26. So we're almost back to um, where I was before I lost all of my progress. Oh, you looked knackered, Fitty. Well done on your run on the weekend. I honestly, it's a bit of a rough ask doing a big run on a Sunday and then having a day full of meetings on Monday, to be honest. 
I hope you've got a, a nice chill night ahead of you tonight when you do get home. I'm going to give you a little tour. We have Jimmy and Timmy on the register. I feel like the music's a little bit too loud as well, actually. I'll just turn that down just, just a little bit. Just a little bit. There we go. Happy with that. Better. So we have Jimmy and Timmy on the register. Then we've got uh, our new aisle system that I have started to put in. So as the store expands, I'm hoping we can just carry this on as we push the store out towards the back. And we have our cold section at the front with our fridges and our freezer. My beautifully organized storage room. The game now has a restocker update. We now have restockers that can grab stuff from the storeroom, put them on the shelves. So we've got little labels that are on all of the, uh, the shelving as well. And we have our two restockers, Dimmy and Dimmy the Second. So it's a really slick little operation here. Oh, look at that. You can't, you can't pass that offer up fit, quite frankly. You can't pass it up. Oh, you're solo parenting this week. Oh, God, you must be knackered already. The week hasn't even started. You did a marathon yesterday, 69 meetings today, and then solo parenting this week. You need a holiday, Fiddy. You need a holiday. It's a cold, it was a cold, rainy day. Oh, that's bizarre. All of a sudden, at the end of summer. The weather was beautiful here yesterday and um, went to the beach and had a bit of a frolic. It was uh, lovely. So before we open the store, let's decide what my next objective is going to be. What I've done, I've got a new product range now. I put a new product range in yesterday. So we have some seafood and meat and stuff in here. We can probably just open, I think. We need to make some money. And we'll like aim for, I think we'll aim for uh, another product line to fill up some of these empty shelves. And then if it gets really busy in the shop, I might get a third register for me to hop on and off of because I'm not high enough level to have a, uh, a third cashier. No, I didn't get lazy. I didn't. The reason is, hello, Julia. Welcome. How are you doing? Welcome. This is Jimmy. And then this is Timmy. And then Simi is still on unpaid leave. So when we do get our third cashier, that's Simi. Then we had Dimmy as the restocker. And then now we've got Dimmy the second. There's only so many names you can have with Imi on the end. Unless we do get someone who's just called Imi. Because don't forget, we're going to end up with four of each. So we could still use Imi at some point. That would be fine. Now, how much is my next product pack, by the way? It's 2800 bucks, so we need to make a lot of dollar doos. So let's keep an eye on the stock levels and make sure that nothing runs out. I don't know if I ended up checking the pricing, you know, for the day. We might want to just check that on the computer because of the way I finished last night. I got off real quick to go to bed. Uh, let's have a little look. Um, looking for the little arrows, the soda. The soda and the yogurt and the soda, yogurt, sugar, sewer, the large sushi. Oh, God. Sugar, yogurt. Crap, which sugar was it? The brown one, which is not on the, the shelf. The yogurt. Let's put the lights on as well. It's getting dark already. Now, I've just moved everything as well, so I'm going to be all confused about where everything is, aren't I? I hope this all runs a bit more smoothly. I hope I can see the benefit of putting this driver update in, you know. Uh, the brown sugar, the other two things I've completely forgotten already. What else did I say I needed to check? The soda. The soda was one of them. So we'll make this uh, $3. Brown sugar and something else that I've forgotten what it is. Let's buy some brown sugar. Because I can't change the uh, the price when there's nothing on the actual shelf. Um, what was the other item that I forgot about? Yogurt. Soda. There was a fourth item. There was a fourth item. Oh, the large large sushi. I'm not even used to having that yet. That's a new product line. So I think, is this the large one? Yeah, we're going to bring that down. We'll make that $24. And then the brown sugar needs to be added to the shelf. Come on, Dimmy. Let's go, mate. 
Let's go. My God, how's your weekend been, uh, Eric? I'm gonna, I'm gonna do that brown sugar myself, actually. Oh, maybe we had none left on the shelf. We might have actually run out in the stock room as well. We may have. It looks like I had an order loaded up from last night and I didn't actually do it because it was um, end of the night. Alright, now we're rocking and rolling. So we're going to put our brown sugar on the shelf and I'll make sure I check the price as well. Oh, yeah, I get it. I, I, feel, I feel the same, actually. Um, um, I felt a bit un, like not ready for Monday today. To be perfectly honest. I feel like I've got so much going on at the moment that I just need like some P and Q for a minute to organize myself. But there's no chance to do that. I need everything to slow down just for a minute. That's what it feels like. So I'm trying to do one thing at a time. One thing at a time. Okay, we're going to put um, brown sugar there. But tonight I'm going to try something a little bit different. One of the reasons why I was doing some tinkering around... I was just talking about when I started the stream. I'm going to try a YouTube vertical live tonight. So it'll be like a, like a TikTok format, but not on TikTok, on uh, YouTube. That's something that's kind of oh, a bit of a new thing to play around with. And I feel like it might be a good thing to get a foot in the door with now, given that TikTok might disappear from the US within coming months. So we'll see how that goes. I'll probably do Supermarket Sim over there tonight, I reckon. Do something that I'm familiar with because I'm doing a new platform style. Be nice if at least the game is something that I'm familiar with. We'll see how it goes. Now I need to put some flour. Where am I keeping the flour these days? It's over here. So I think any of these products that are starting to get real popular, I might need to double them up on those shelves as well. Something else that I think they've fixed in this game, the glitch that we had the other day, that was really bad the other night. So not only were customers getting stuck in front of fridges and shelves, so were the restockers. They were getting stuck in front of all of these shelves in here and it was driving me crazy because you had to figure out what product was causing the glitch. And I was constantly taking things on and off the shelves, and it was really slowing me down. But I think they've patched it, so I'm really happy about that. Because it was making it a little bit unplayable, to be honest. 165 days. Yeah, I saw something. We were talking about it last night. There's like an amount of time that they've got to sort out, you know, if there's going to be any kind of ownership change. Very interesting. Very interesting and also a perfect example of why if you're making content you really need to make sure you're spreading your eggs across those baskets no matter what you're doing because this stuff can happen and you can't do anything about it. So you need to make sure that you're ready to move, ready to pivot, ready to change with this crazy world that we're living in now. I know. Hello Drisku. I know. How dare they? They are an outrageous bunch, aren't they? How are you doing? I hope you had a good weekend. It's still your weekend. Sunday night. It's quite devastating. If TikTok does disappear completely, it's actually going to affect some people's livelihoods to a huge degree. Like if you're an American content creator on there, or if you're a content creator from anywhere in the world where the majority of your audience is American, and just having it disappear overnight like that, it's... Uh, there's not many businesses where that's a possibility. Not many businesses where your customer base, which is essentially what people are to people who are doing it as a career full time, can just be halved or more or completely disappear overnight. So it'll be very stressful for anyone who's making a living out of um, TikTok alone, definitely. Didn't I have three sodas? I did, I put it in the stock room because I couldn't fit any more on the shelf in the fridge. You've got three restockers stuck at shelves. Oh, you're still having the problem. See, I haven't had the problem. Um, I had it a couple of nights ago and it was absolutely ridiculous. Then I played a whole session of this last night and it ran beautifully. I didn't have any glitches at all. I think they have done a patch. I wonder if maybe yours hasn't fully updated. Okay, we can't order anything else till tomorrow. But yeah, all of a sudden it's fixed. But it was a huge problem because what was happening, the store is getting quite busy. So all of the shelves are 
getting empty and you just had stockers that you're paying money for stuck in front of these storeroom shelves. It was really frustrating. Now, we're going to have to help them do some restocking soon. Actually, we need to do a big reorder of some cleaning products as well. Working during the week is more enjoyable. Oh, no, you had one of those weekends. Oh, and now you feel like when you go back to work, it's actually going to be like a break. Oh. I had a really good weekend. Like, I couldn't have got anything else out of it. Did a little bit of everything. Did some productive stuff. Did some fun stuff. Lots of different things. But, um... I don't know. I just feel perpetually tired all the time at the moment. Like, I'm never fully restored. I feel like I need, like, three months off. Three months paid would be would be nice. But that's what I feel like. I think it could be a bit of that, to be honest, Eric. You know, just with everything over the past few months and still haven't really been in this place for that long, all things considered. I think I'm just perpetually exhausted and I don't know how to sort it. Water, flour and salmon. Water, flour and salmon. So I keep hoping that things will just sort of like settle down a little bit. Work was um, a bit mental for a while there and that should hopefully start settling. I keep saying that, but then it doesn't. Um... Salmon, water salmon and something else that I've already forgotten. Something else that I've already forgotten. What was the other product? Flour. The blue packet flour. I wish that would stay there a bit longer, that little notification, because it's really hard to remember all of that. A month of paid. Look, I would take that too. I would accept that. Let's get a cleaning pack as well, because I think we're really running out of cleaning stuff. Then what we're going to do, we're going to save up for our next product pack. We need $2,800 and I think we can do it after today. I think we'll be absolutely golden. Let's just get some stuff ready to go so that Dimmy and Dimmy the second can um, do some actual work for the money that I'm paying them. So they get their wages paid automatically at the beginning of the day. You don't have to physically pay them, which is good, because I'm sure I'd forget. Uh, cheese. Eggs swell. I think I've got my eggs over here now, haven't I? We've got um, the little eggs over there. Sound the fuck boy alarm. Where's the label gone? Hello, Spins. Bit of time with Sally Manella. I know, a bit of Monday quality time with Sally Manella. I hope you had a good weekend, Spins. We're just, I, I haven't been on that long, actually. I had to do a bit of faffing around before <clears throat> beginning of stream. OBS was kind enough to not tell me that I needed to update my graphics drivers until I tried to press the go live button. Like, you should have told me that before when I downloaded the update. I was very annoyed. Very miffy. Back with lunch. Ooh, what's for lunch today? I had a little, uh, little English muffin with plant-based bacon, cheese and sauce. Cheese and relish, actually. It was uh, a bit delightful, I have to say. Today going downhill fast, tested positive for COVID. Oh, crap. No. Oh, no. How are you feeling right now? Do you feel all right still? crap were you up to date i'm not saying this in a finger pointing kind of way this is just more out of interest because i need to do mine soon were you up to date with your boosters because i think i need to organize another booster uh, i had covid last may so it's been nearly 12 months okay yeah so due but not done yeah i was just thinking about it the other day i was like crap really should look at that you kind of forget don't you because it's not like it's not really, no one's really talking about it so much anymore, even though it's still a thing. So then you think, hang on, how much time has gone since I actually had a booster? I've got to get on that. I hope that it's not a nasty one, Spins. Hopefully you've got enough um, immunity from previous times that it will be a bit of a, a mild cold vibe rather than the full flu style experience. Is everyone else in the house all right? 
Unbelievable, isn't it? That we're, I don't think anybody kind of thought that we'd still be having the, the COVID conversation this much time after it all. Um, we need pasta and rice. Powdered sugar. Pasta, rice, powdered sugar. We might need to start ordering some extra boxes of things at this point. Because um, it's just flying off the shelves. Powdered sugar and a couple of items just to top this up as well. You have a whole section of the house to hide in and you're going to isolate. Yeah, that's good if you can do that. If you've got a part of the house where you can have all of the things that you use so that you don't have to get everyone else involved. That makes it a lot easier. Large sushi and chicken and soda. Large... I can only get... Oh no, hang on. Let's get another one of those and we'll get chicken and we'll get two chickens and soda and see how we go with these and then we'll open. How many are you up to? Uh, ooh, that's a good question. We had three, I reckon, because they kept changing the rules on it, didn't it? They had three initially, I'm sure, and then there was a fourth. So there was three that were kind of forming part of the first line of defense and then I'm sure there was a fourth. And I think it's the fourth one that I haven't had because I got COVID. So I got COVID last May and they were saying you can't go and have your fourth booster until it's been at least six months since your last booster or since your last COVID infection. So then of course in that time moved house, did a whole bunch of other stuff and then kind of stopped thinking about it. And then all of a sudden um, it's kind of spiked everywhere again. And then we're going to be coming into like the winter period and stuff soon. So we all kind of need to start thinking about it at this point. Get on top of it. Yeah, that's the thing as well, is you can have had it, but you didn't know. Because some people don't actually test positive even though they've got it. Pain in the ass, isn't it? Honestly. It's just what a nightmare the whole thing ended up being for the world. Awful. Hopefully it just doesn't make you feel too, like, so ill that you can't just get on with things. You know when you're so sick? There's, like, two different types of sick. There's sick where you don't feel your normal self, of course, and you can't necessarily work and do all the same exact things you're used to doing. But then there's the sick where... and then But you could still, like, play games, enjoy relaxing a little bit, but then there's the kind of sick where you actually feel like death and there's, like, nothing that makes it feel better. Hopefully it's not like that. The new strain, I don't know. Um, from what I generally have heard about it, most of the newer strains tend to be more transmissible but less severe. But that, of course, depends on your personal immunity and your status of booster shots and things. And everyone reacts differently as well to the same virus. Like three people can get the exact same strain of a virus and have wildly different symptoms and sickness. So it's hard. Oh yeah, yeah. Um, the amount of money that got handed out during COVID, I, I feel like it's got a big, like all around the world, there's a lot of weird economic stuff going on right now. It's like everything's really out of balance. And I do think a lot of it is because of all of that stuff that happened during COVID. So much money got thrown at people and at businesses. And yes, some of it was necessary, but a lot of it wasn't. So a lot of big businesses that, that never ended up suffering a profit reduction during the pandemic still got the government handouts. And um, it was all just bonus for them. You know, and then like we had a system job keeper in Australia where casual workers, it was really important that they were still able to access money when they were told they couldn't work. Of course, it was very important, but there was just this set flat amount for everybody. So there was a lot of casual workers that got significantly more money on job keeper than they did when they worked. So, so much money just got poured in. And I think it's really, um, skewed everything and now we're trying to find our feet again and everything's just so crazy everything's all topsy-turvy and inflation's through the roof and it's been a wild time hasn't it the past few years you think you've just had it 
Yeah. Now, there were a couple of um, big businesses actually voluntarily paid back the um, money. So there was a couple of businesses that were like, you know what, we took this money because, you know, we took it in good faith, we were entitled to it, we didn't know what was going to happen, and of course nobody did. But in the end, you know, we didn't suffer as a result of the pandemic, so we're going to return the money. There's a couple of corporations that did it, there's many, many that, that did not. Um, now we have pasta. Pasta? Now, I think we'll open in a minute. I just wanted to make sure that we've actually got some stuff to sell. Because if too many people come into the store and can't find what they're looking for, they get annoyed. And so what happened during COVID, of course, as well? What boomed during COVID? So while your hospitality businesses, your in-person services were suffering so badly, um, like people, singers, lots of people in um, the entertainment industry just could not work. Retail went through the roof. Retail went through the roof. People had money to spend and they were stuck at home. So they bought a whole bunch of stuff. So businesses like Harvey Norman did really, really well. Went absolutely crazy. They were one of the few industries that did well at the time out of it. Where the bloody hell am I keeping the powdered sugar? I've got so many products now. And the stockists don't put it in the uh, stock room for you. You still have to handle that part. So. You need to make sure you're keeping the stock room full so that they can just go stock room to shelf. Um, that's sort of the, the little focus change. We need some tea. Tea, toilet paper, flour. Tea, toilet, toilet paper and flour. That should do. Tea. Toilet paper. I'm going to get an extra shelf of this. I feel like the flour keeps selling out. I'm sick of buying it. Fill my head in. Could use some pasta. Have you had dinner? Have you not had dinner, Eric? What's the dinner situation? Yeah, I'm not surprised at all, Peter. I'm not surprised at all. Your friend went to the Garden of Unearthly Delights, got a really sad looking serve of nachos for $30. Yeah, I've heard a lot of people say that about the fringe this year. So in uh, Adelaide, it's like they, uh, the fringe season, the festival season. So there's all these things that you can go and do as part of that. Lots of shows come here. There's a Garden of Unearthly Delights where uh, there's all like food and drink and shows and, and stuff set up in this big park. It's lovely. It's always been a really, um, it used to be a, like a low cost, nice thing to do. And it was quite a chill experience. But this year, a lot of people have been complaining about the insane cost of everything. To the point where it's like they felt like they just couldn't really enjoy it like they used to. They've had to cut it back so dramatically because they can't justify the price of everything. You know, it's wild. Maybe you have to have some nachos, Eric. I love nachos. I love them on a weekend when, when I can't really be bothered having like a fully cooked dinner, like a full fancy dinner. Hello, Russian. Welcome in. How you doing? How's your weekend been? But yeah, yesterday, I was talking about this last night. Um, yesterday, it went to uh, the beach. And it was getting kind of close to lunchtime. So we were like, oh, let's just see what's going on. Like, if we just grab something, let's just see what's going on. They were selling ham and cheese croissants. Just a little ham and cheese croissant for $11 each. $11 each. Like, you're not even really full when you have a croissant. It's like a little snacky thing. Like a little small croissant. Ham and cheese. And, of course, we would have had to have asked for the ham to be taken out. Because we don't eat meat. So it would have been literally just a cheese croissant for $11 each. Then if you get, like, a coffee, it's, like, six fifty. It's got to the point where it's just, like... I can't do it anymore. Like, I, like it pains me to pay it. So I don't. And I've never really been like that. I always used to be like, oh, well, you know, when you're out, you should make the most of it. You know, you don't do it very often and all that stuff. But it's kind of got to that point where it's like, nah. I'm working too hard to make to make money to throw it away on things that aren't worth it now. So it's really changed my mindset. And I've started doing a lot more things at home, learning how to make my own stuff. And I've actually quite enjoyed it. It's been good. Doing your nails. Ooh, fancy. Oh, and you've had a migraine. Oh, oh no. 
At least you can st like at least you can still distract yourself a little bit with something if you can do your nails because I know there's a lot of different levels of migraines, isn't there? You can you can kind of like go through the phase where you need to sit in the dark and have your eyes closed. My auntie gets really bad ones. And when they first start, she literally just has to do absolutely nothing, like sit in the dark, can't have any noise, nothing. It sounds awful. Um, have we run out of flour already? No, there's heaps of it. Oh, we need honey and peanut butter. Honey and peanut butter and the pink coffee. Honey. I'm struggling to keep up, even with the restockers. Thank goodness that update came in. Coffee as well. Because there's a lot to do. You should be laying in bed, but you can't. Yeah, I totally get it. You get so sick of it. You actually get sore, don't you? You get sore from um, laying in bed when you're not well. I hate that. You get like a weird back. Yeah, and then you feel a bit gross about yourself as well, don't you? Because it's like you're not doing all the things you normally do. So it feels nice to... Have a little bit of self-care. Do your nails or just have like an extra long shower or whatever it is. Feels nice when you've not been well. Definitely. Um, our honey can go down here. What were you saying, Drisku? I bet all. Oh, is that for is that for Russian? I thought it was a typo. <laughs> I thought you typed something by accident. Um, now where is this supposed to go? Thank you. Where is my... F oh, there it is. There goes the milk. I'm definitely thinking we're going to have to start expanding the shelving. We're going to have to have some stuff that's got a dedicated shelf because I'm restocking it too often. We have reached that level of growth. At least your nails will be nice. Exactly. Better than nothing. I need to do mine, actually. Um, I did mine last weekend, and they've held up quite well. I did a little, um, these are my nails, like these are just my regular nails, but I just painted them with this nail polish that I've got. It's called Strawberry Smoothie. I love it, and I think I might actually do it again this week, which I don't normally do. I don't know if you can see it. Strawberry Smoothie. So it's pink, and it's got, like, little strawberry seeds in it. You don't feel them. You don't feel them. But it's super cute. And I think that I might do it again because I really liked it. I might take this off and do the same colour again. Usually I like having a different colour. As soon as I change them because I'm sick of the other one. But I'm liking having the colour. Yeah, they're, they're cute, aren't they? I might do them again. I might do my toenails as well. I might do my toenails in the matching colour and be extra fancy. Because it's still warm enough that you have your, you have, you know, you're wearing open-toed shoes. Don't worry, I won't be sending any feet pictures. Not unless they're behind a pain wall. It's still warm enough that you're wearing open-toed shoes and stuff. So it's worth doing a nice little pedicure as well. Behind a pain wall, Eric. I don't give that away for free. Hey, cost of living is very high. Cost of living is very high at the moment. Do you think I'm just going to send free feet pictures? What do you think is going on? I'm not made of money. Now, where am I putting this coffee? I don't think I've... Oh, no, I have got a label for it. It goes over here. All right. Now, we're going to regroup here. We're going to decide... Why is everyone walking in... Like, Why is everyone's arms so stiff in this game? Every character in the game is walking like this. It's like they've all got tennis elbow or something. Everybody. Um, we need bleach and soap and toilet paper. We're going to start expanding. I'm going to double up some of my items so we don't have to do so much of this. They lift it. <laughs> they've just skipped leg day, that's all. They skipped leg day, so it's um, it's just standing out a little bit. All right. We can't get that until the morning. Let's just let these final customers go through. Don't rush, will you, mate? He, Jimmy, has no hustle. There could be 800 customers waiting at his counter. No hustle. At all. Look at this. This is why I think maybe I'll put a third register in, because I could whiz some customers through as well, couldn't I? But I'm not going to do... Don't worry. Oh, okay, Jimmy. He's just walking through me like I'm not even here. Look at these two. 
We might reorganize our shelves so that I'm not spending so much time uh, stocking. Get a bit more out on the actual shelves in the store. Get a third counter. And then when it gets busy, I'll just jump on that and actually get some stuff done. Believable. Who's taking so long? Everyone looks so sad. Why is everyone so upset? Cost of living, probably. They probably just got charged $11 for a cheese croissant. That's why they look like this. I'd look like that. Yeah, I'd look like that as well after a while. Just lose all sense of reality. It's like, what's even happening anymore? I've lost all sense of reality. I'm just walking through life in a daze. Yeah, I get it now. This is what's going to happen to all of us if they don't do something about inflation. We're just going to start completely um, disassociating. All right, now that's done. Finally, we'll close the store. We'll end the day. Now, in the morning, when the day begins, we're not in any rush whatsoever to... Uh, hang on. Hold that thought. Pizza and shampoo. Pizza and shampoo. We're not in any rush to open the store because time's frozen. So it's a great time to have a good think about any changes we want to make, get new products in and price them and all that kind of thing. So... Now, I feel like I'm not really having to stock the potatoes very much. They're not selling... Well, I've got two shelves of them, though, which is probably helping quite a bit. Um, the coffee, I think, is at the point where it can have its own shelf. So let's get something set up. And we have to be careful here, because now that we have restockers, when you're trying to move things around, you have to do it very quickly. Otherwise, they just come and fill the bloody shelf up again. So you've got to be on your game here. So what I'm thinking is we might have it so that uh, coffee is here and it's got an entire shelf dedicated to it. Then we're not going to be faffing around so much, are we? It's like a step-by-step -step thing. As the store grows, you have to make some little adjustments. Why have I bought more of this spray cleaner? It's like I'm obsessed with it. I've already got a full shelf of it. What are you doing? I don't need this much of it. I keep just buying the whole cleaning pack even though nobody's buying any of that. Alright, we'll put some bleach on the bottom. Lovely. Uh, we'll store this one in here. Same with the shampoo. We need them to actually do something with their time. Fill their day somehow. And then we'll put the other coffee next to this one. I want to move those cakes as well. I'm not happy with them there. But I have to wait till they sell. The game still doesn't let you move things off the shelf without a box that fits them. I wonder if this box would fit them. <gasps> it does! Beautiful. All right, we'll take them off and quickly take the label off so they don't restock it. Good. Excellent. We're going to keep that reserved for our two ranges of coffee. Exactly. That's the idea. I have a completely non-safety friendly store. Thank you for the follow. Welcome in. How you doing? Alright. Lovely. Now. This is gonna go this is gonna go really well. This is gonna save so much back and forth. And we have to start preparing for the store to get bigger because the more product lines we get the more we need to oversee and we just can't have products selling out as quickly as they have been needing us to muck around with it and i also don't want to tie up too much stock in the uh stock room either because i don't have all this money tied up and i could run out of dough as well it was just an observation they've got you know child safe lids and all that Plus, I think it's best practice that parents don't let their kids play down the cleaning aisle on their own as well. That would be a good idea. Alrighty. Always have lots of toilet paper. Everyone loves it. They eat toilet paper for breakfast. So we have two full shelves of these. And you can only get four. Like, because it's such a large packet, you only get four per box. So it doesn't take very long for it to fill up. All right. I 
reckon one more box of coffee, two more boxes of coffee, one to fill the shelf and one to put for restocking. And let's fill up this other one. This is like a light roast coffee. So more, the more product licenses you unlock, the more varieties of the same product you end up with. So you're not just getting like different stuff, you're getting varieties of coffee and flour and all that stuff as well. So we need to leave enough space for it all. All right, so we'll get a couple more, three of those. And we may get to the point where we want to open the shop while we're doing this so that we've got some money flowing through as well. Oh, we need to move that coffee off of that shelf now that we have a new place for it to live. Let's use this box to take that off like so and get that label off as well. And we can start a little stock room back up. Um, I've actually got quite a lot of that. Probably don't need to buy any more of that, you know. Thinking about it now. Going a bit crazy for the pink, for the light roast coffee. It's a very tropical looking packet. It almost looks like tropical flavoured coffee. That's not what I would buy. I like my coffee strong. If I'm going to have it, I want it strong. But you want your coffee easy, and you want it hard. I want it hard. That's me. So I'd be going for this one. The intense coffee range. If you're going to have it, speaking of, I've got a little, a little cup of it here. Makes you pee and poo. So selling coffee and toilet paper is clutch. Oh, that's lovely. I feel like there's a marketing campaign in there somewhere, just go. Like a little jingle. We could come up with a little song. And we'll have a TV ad with a matching uh, little poster on the front. Everyone's going to go for it. It's going to be really nice. You're not wrong, though. Coffee does get you going, doesn't it? It doesn't take long before I need... I feel like I need a wee when I'm having a coffee. Actually, when I do... This is probably too much information, but it's too late now. When I do these day streams, um, I usually do need a bathroom break. I don't usually take a bathroom break at night, but I have coffee in these ones, so I usually need like a wee in the stream. It happens, can't help it. And I drink a lot of water in the morning as well. In the morning I have a lot of water, so I usually, actually I haven't had one today yet. I've made a break. I've had a wee. <laughs> I haven't had a break. <laughs> ah, okay, now. <laughs> well, we're going to get some bread, cereal. Bread, cereal, salt. Bread, cereal, salt. Maybe we'll open as well. Oh, anything that stops me talking. Bread, cereal. One of each. That's what you got out of that. Out of that conversation. Eric's like, yeah, I'm hungry now. Really. Have something for dinner. Have something for dinner. Make yourself like a little snack or something. What's your signature din- oh, you had dinner. Well, make yourself a little snack that's not dinner. Is there any salt? I feel like there is still salt in there. There is! There's still salt! The label isn't appearing on the top of the box properly. So it's supposed to be that if the label appears, there's still product, but the label keeps disappearing. Oh, you got to finish a raid boss first. Yeah, who needs, like, food and water when there's games on the table? Imagine just sitting there being starving, though. All right. Lovely. I love this game so much. This puts me in some kind of state of zen playing this. It's really, really enjoyable. I'm so glad that it's gone well, content-wise. So many people are watching this game at the moment. It's going really well, especially on TikTok. Um, I'm really glad about that because I love this style of game. It's like my favourite kind of game to stream tends to be a simulator. I've always enjoyed simulator stream. Because I just feel like I've got full, you know, I can just, you know, chat away and you can be a bit more interactive, I think, with a simulator stream than you can with a game that's locking you in very heavily to a storyline or a narrative or, you know what I mean? So I like a little sim every now and again. Now that's the bread. Let's get the store open. Oh, should I get another? No, I'm not going to get a register until I've organized my products better. I might actually buy 
another shelf. Yes, I will. I might get two, actually. We'll just leave one in the box. We'll leave them in the box if we're not going to use them straight away. Let's prepare early for our next product additions. Now, I'm not going to be able to fit that there because of that counter. Oh, oh no, nah, that's not going to be any good because the customers will be lining up through there. So, for the time being, we're going to have to move them... The shop is going to expand backwards, I think. So that's why I've got this set up the way that I do. You don't choose where your extra space goes when you do an upgrade. But I think it's going to move backwards. So let's temporarily pop these here. That's not how I'm going to have them later. But it's just going to help me out a little bit for now. Do I want one there as well? Actually, how much is it to expand? Maybe I will expand. That might be a better thing to do before we get carried away. How much is it? I should pay my bills while I'm here as well. I always forget. Quite a few of them built up there as well. I'm going to get closed down in a minute. Right, so it's going to cost $2,600 for our next uh, expansion. I'm going to do it. I'm going to do it and then we'll just know where it's going to go and we might put our new shelves in that section so that it doesn't get all crowded up in the front because I'm really liking the flow of this place at the moment. We need some chicken and fries and regular cheese. Chicken, fries, cheese, what else do I need? I feel like I'm doing a weekly shop, like a real weekly shop. The juice is selling really quick now. Juice and the Turco soda as well. Two of each. I can't even get two of each. So I got some orange. We need apple. Soda. What else? Um... These annoy me. These items annoy me because it's kind of hard to see what they are on the label because they look really similar. I think that's masaka and some kind of small sushi on the bottom, I think. I think what, they can't get enough of that masaka. Sushi small. Very expensive to buy those products. The uh, meat and seafood. Then I think we're probably all right just for a minute. We can probably make do. Excellent. I've got the window open today. I don't know if anybody noticed anything different about my camera today. But as part of the many things I've been tinkering with. Um, usually I have this, this all closed up during the day. And I have the lights on and all that stuff. Um, I've just got the window open today. So I've just got like natural sunlight coming through. Which feels very strange. I'm used to having... I'm looking outside right now. Usually when I'm doing the stream, the blinds are closed. But I thought it might be good. Oh, no worries. No worries. Have a lovely rest. And I hope that it's a good week for Scoo after your crazy weekend. Thanks for hanging out with us. So I can actually see things going on outside while I'm streaming. It's, it's a little novelty. It means that when I do these day ones, it's giving my eyes a bit of a rest from uh, having the lights on. I'm doing a lot of live streams these days. A lot more than I used to overall. And the lights can get a little bit tiring when you're just when you've got them in your face so much. So I thought, well if I can tone that down during the day, that will help quite a lot. Uh, now we're going to put our orange juice up here. Do I have another shelf for it? Yeah, I do. Okay, so the, I wish that there was six shelves in the fridge. It's kind of annoying not being able to have a three and three of the same product. Um, now, our French fries are living somewhere else. Where am I putting those now? Near the chicken, probably. 
Up there. Good. I wonder if we can hire someone eventually that will have the uh, ability to pick up the boxes from the curb. That would save a lot of faffing around as well. I'm all about reducing faff. Juice. The milk is too expensive. Is it? You think? We'll have a look at that in a minute. And turn the lights on as well. Are they already on? They're already on. The milk is too expensive, they say. I didn't mean to take that label off. It is a little bit expensive. We must have had a price change and I forgot to do it. Very easy to do. Now, chicken. So sometimes, even though they do restock for you, sometimes I like to help them out a little bit if we've got a lot of products that are low. I'd rather have them on the shelf so that people can buy them. And it gives you, it keeps me busy, keeps me out of trouble. Just like a typical manager, you oversee everything and then when things get a little bit heckies, you jump in, get your hands dirty. That's me. Right, so that's our regular cola all filled up. Um, now that's living over here. I really wish I could put this somewhere where it wasn't so much in the way. Can I put it on a shelf or nah? Oh, that's very annoying. What if I put it here? Just like that, sort of. So we can sort of get around it for a minute. Um, French fries. French fries can go up there. Lovely. And I think we might have run out of cheese as well. If they have people picking stuff up on the curb, item buying simulator. Oh, yeah. I'm interested to see what they are going to do, though. Because obviously having the restocker is great. But this is still quite a small supermarket. What happens when we're a big supermarket? I literally cannot spend all of my time checking stock, ordering it, and bringing it in by hand. Like, you're not going to be able to, able to do it. They're going to have to come up with a, um, a different kind of job type where the stock is getting delivered and maybe, like, being brought into the stock room on a trolley or something, like, as the store gets bigger. Would you like some fries, Eric? They're still frozen, though. They're still frozen. It depends how hungry you are, I suppose. I've never tried to eat a frozen fry, but I feel like it would be a bit flavourless and probably really bad for your teeth as well. All right, we're going to pop that up there. We have a new little shelf that I'm making there for these products. Oh, something else that was happening with the glitch as well. I think they've fixed it, but um, the restockers were putting the wrong items in the wrong places. So you would go to the fridge and you'd find like a bag of flour in there. I think they might have gotten on top of that now, though. It's been running real smoothly, I have to say. Which I'm rather happy about. And the cola can go in storage as well. Okay, good. Now, let's do our expansion. It's nice and quiet. There's no customers left. We'll do an expansion and we'll see where the walls go. So typically the expansions are only like a 4x4 four four size. Um, growth section right so i've got thirty three hundred dollars this is going to cost me twenty six hundred yeah okay good that's what i thought it did so i think it's going to go block by block back i think i'm pretty sure uh, i think follow up in i'm pretty sure that we're going to keep this width unless it gets to a point where it's getting too long and then maybe all of a sudden it starts expanding out so my plan is we're going to start as we mean to go on. I don't want to keep rejigging the supermarket every single time we do an expansion. So I'm trying to come up with a, uh, a way that um, 
something that we can follow on with as we expand. So I don't want to get too tricky with everything. Now, how's this going to work, though? Let me just think about this for a minute. If this is my cold section, I'm going to continue that up this way so it's like a big, long, cold aisle. I could move... I don't really want to cramp those up anymore. I think the spacing is okay. What if I grab this empty shelf? What if we do something a little, little funky here? And we actually uh, move these so they're not against the wall. There'll be a little bit of wasted space, but I want to keep it in a nice uniform line. I don't really know if that's going to work or not. I might just swap that shelf though. I don't want to move all the products off of it. So if I've got all my coffee and everything together. Or what if I do bunch them up a little bit more? Well, I don't even know if I can. I feel like they're probably how they're supposed to be. That's okay. Then we'll go... Let's just see how it would work. If I was going to flip this so it goes back to back. Then this one, there's going to be like a, a little bit of wasted space behind it. But oh, does it matter? Or I can just have this so that it sits back a little bit. I don't really think that matters that much, to be honest. I think it's all right. Is it? <laughs> it's not, is it? It's kind of even my anxiety, actually. No, I don't think I like that. I think someone, someone will have their eye out on that. There's too many edges. I don't like that either. But I, I can't fit that in there. So what we'll do... We will move this tiny, tiny bit. Let's make sure that we can get this snug in the corner. We need some lights as well for this new area. Move this over. We can make it prettier once we have another expansion. That will be fine. Then... Does that definitely not look okay if I now go like this, though? We can do that. That's all right. Well, hang on. Oh, oh, hang on. It doesn't snap. You have to do it by hand. I think that's probably fine for now. Then we'll get a couple of lights. I think I might have some left over, actually. Did I buy some? I might have used them. I'm going to have to order them tomorrow because it's 9 o'clock. So, let's get some furniture. That was a bit of an expensive exercise, actually. Um, we might need to open the store fairly quickly so that some people come in and buy some stuff. The cake and the yogurt and the pasta need to have their price checked. So this one can be 350 The cake is the pink packet cake. Pepita! And the yogurt as well. I feel like the yogurt's price is changing bloody every five minutes. Draw my head in. Two twenty. We should just make everything ten dollars. We'll just be the ten dollar store, you know, for better or worse. It'll all come out in the wash, won't it? Right. We want some oil. Let's um. No, we mustn't have any, because even if the store's not open, they should be restocking if we've got it. So we need oil. Let's do that. The green oil. Let's open, and we'll put these on the shelves, and we'll run around, and we'll do a little bit of um, stock checking as we go. And let's get these over here. We'll install them after. A little trolley. Even if they don't do an update to give you more staff types, I would like it if they would let me have a trolley. So if it's always me that needs to go to the curb to get the boxes, give me the ability to get a whole bunch of boxes at the same time, like you would in real life. You wouldn't do it one by one like this. You'd have a little trolley. Stack it up. Get a bunch. Come back. Nice. Lovely. Get these in here and then we'll see what we still need. Alright. 
So, we want the fancy cheeses, butter, milk. So, that one, that one, and that one. Butter, milk. Um, let's try and make it worthwhile. Let's get 10 items in this order. We have here salmon. Salmon and the large sushi as well. That's going to be expensive. I don't even know if I can... Who left this box here? Okay. One of these. Two of those. I can only just afford that. That's alright. We'll make it back. Expanding is expensive. Now, we're going to put these over here. Beautiful. Uh, that can go in our room temperature storage. That's going to work out beautifully. Uh, where am I keeping the milk, actually? I feel like I haven't stored it for a while. Where am I keeping it? There. Bit of butter. Just in time. I'll put the other one out the back. They can do the other one. Just need to have enough so that people can actually buy it when they come in for it. And some fancy mimolette. This must be a nightmare to watch if you're hungry. You're just seeing all these different like food varieties. Especially if you're sitting there hungry. Whilst gaming. Not doing anything about it. Con confirm. Butter? I am gamming. Too busy gamming. Can't talk. Gamming. What's in here? Oh, there's no there's no label on that one. How oh, dare you, Eric. You can't shush the streamer. Also gamming. You're gamming right now, Julia. What are you gamming with? Okay, we have some parmesan cheese. <laughs> I want to play some more SnowRunner off stream as well. I was really enjoying that the last time I played it. We're going to do that on Thursday. And I would like to play a little bit on my own before we do. I've got a new vehicle. And I'd like to get a couple of basic jobs done so I can do some meaty tasks when we next do the stream. We'll have to see how I go. Oh no, you're back on back on the WoW. The addiction is back. Good. Right. It's all flowing. <clears throat> we need some candy. We need some soap. Pasta. We need everything. Oh my god, we have to expand these. We have to do some shifting around when the store closes. It's, uh... We need existing items to have more of them on the shelf. It's the only way we're going to be able to release ourselves from the constant restocking curse. I'm half tempted I might move the cleaning products into the new area that I've made out the back so that I can have like a whole bunch of stuff all together. That might be the way to go. Uh, brown sugar. I feel like I'm not making as much money as I should be making today. Probably because Jimmy's putting like one customer an hour through the register. Like it's 5.30. How have I only got $762? What's going on? The audacity. Couldn't find something. What, what couldn't he find? Probably sugar. Um, right, we need that pasta organized as well. Uh, where does this go? This goes over here somewhere. Powdered sugar. Powdered sugar. Too many items at this point. 
I don't know how we're going to go once it's like a full supermarket situation with like tons of product lines. Candy and chocolate. Chocolate and the other cake as well. Let's get that ordered. Ready for tomorrow. Actually, we'll do it now. We'll do it now. A bit of chocolate. Cake. Mmm, that'll probably do. Let's just get it done. I want people buying things. I tell you, nobody was going down that aisle until I needed to go in there to do a restock. It's always the way. I'm going to uh, move that shelf. It's driving me crazy. We need to put that somewhere. I can't do it anymore. Let's put it in the back and we'll work out what we're going to do with it after. It's driving me crazy sitting there like that. Good. We'll get those lights up when everyone's nicked off. That would be good. Everyone's busy, aren't they? It's absolutely heaving in here. There's a little vibe going. Everyone has something to do. Whoops. Let's put that out the back. We'll let uh, Dimmy sort that out for me. Now the candy goes there. Thank God for those labels, you know. It'd be such a mess without them at this point. I don't know how I was doing it before. With my previous save game. I'm not upset at all, actually, now. Now that I've... I was annoyed when I lost that progress initially. But, um... The way it's turned out, I'm quite glad. Because I don't know how I would be doing it. Uh, chocolate up the top. Nice. So now it's 9 o'clock. We can't order anything else. Might put the lights in. Now, let's try and line them up. It's kind of hard. I want to line that one up a bit more as well. It looks a bit wonky, doesn't it? As best we can. You have to just do it by eye. There's no guide of whether it's actually lined up or not. And we might uh, pop one right at the back here as well. Move this one over a bit. Because as the store gets bigger, <laughs> there's just going to be this, this net of wonky lights up the top. Is that alright? It's better. Kind of. Kind of like that. At least you can see. That's better. We'll keep this one for later. So that can go here for safe keeping. Now, I'm going to grab the cleaning stuff. I want to do this differently. We need more of it out. I think we need a double shelf for it. So let's move this right to the end. And let's see if I can fit it with that door like that. I don't know if I can. Maybe. Yeah, we can. Nice. What we'll do then. I might have, I might keep the toilet roll the way I've got it because it sells really well. And all of these can be doubles. So it's going to spill out onto another shelf. But I'm sure we're going to end up with more cleaning products anyway. So it should all work out. If I was going to have, for instance, the shampoo. Let's have the shampoo over here. That's not really a cleaning product anyway. I don't really know why the shampoo is part of the cleaning product thing. It's like personal care. It's a different type of item. So we'll move that there. Then we'll get some... I'm going to keep a couple of these boxes as well. I want some different sizes in case we need to uh, rearrange things. Like, how come I can't put that box down? No, but it's not a cleaning product though. It's not for cleaning your, your house. That's the thing. All this other stuff is like... Oh, I forgot to take the bloody label off. Dimmy! I've thrown the box away now as well. Oh, fuck. <sighs> That's exactly what I was talking about earlier. Now it's different. It's not the same thing. He's just undone my good work there. Right. Right, what would we do? I think I can use this box. No, I can't. You bastard. Okay. 
Why can't I place these boxes now? Why are you being an F-boy? That's a very annoying turn of events. Okay, I'm going to order some more shampoo. The veal and the masaka have got a price change as well. Is that the veal? Is that... No, that's steak. Is that the veal? A veal chop. That needs to come right down to... Uh, let's make it $13. And the masaka goes to... Oh, we'll keep that the same. Buy some shampoo. I forgot to take the label off straight away. I just want one. Usually you can keep the boxes, but it was being weird with it. It kept going red. It wasn't letting me place it. So let's just quickly fill this. And then take these off. Um, I'm not going to be able to fit them all in, am I? That's going to be annoying. I'll have three racks for now, but I'm going to change that later. It's not going to stay that way. Just for now. Then we'll keep these over here. We'll go... I'm going to move... We'll get some cleaning... Yeah, I think we'll just keep it like this. We'll have the cleaning stuff going along that shelf. I think I've run out of it. I had heaps of it at one point. I was hoarding it at one point. In fact, I think I've got another box laying around. I do. I couldn't even... Yeah, I've got two of them. I couldn't even fit it. I had that much of it. Good. That can go over here. Get that one off of there and we'll move that label. Don't you dare. Get out of the way, mate. Stop it. I couldn't get the label off in time. You need to be able to turn them off for a minute. It's like, don't restock anything for a minute. I'm doing something. <sighs> okay. I was right onto it as well. I don't even know if I have a box size that will let me take it off. Maybe I do. I do. Quick, take it off. Then we're going to do bleach on the bottom. Don't you even think about it, mate. Get away from that shelf. Right. I have got enough to do, that's a problem. Because I've got enough to do at the moment, because I'm doing a little reshuffle. I've got two of them out there, scratching their asses, getting $100 a day. <clears throat> yeah, it's annoying. It's, isn't it? it's annoying. And you have to be really onto it. You have to be very onto it. Now. Dishwash tablets on the top bleach on the bottom let's buy some more of those items as well we can get a lot because we're going to have more out all the time now as well more than what we are used to look at that tower of boxes wowee that's a nice one it never fell down <gasps> it's like playing jenga all right Lovely. I like how this is coming along. This is good. I want to get out of the habit of need needing to watch the products like a hawk. It's really getting quite annoying with uh, the expanding supermarket. That can go there. Bleach for the bottom. I want the light on as well. I like the light on all day. All day. Um, they need to come up with a system where we can manage boxes and stock better so firstly I need to be able to come out onto the path and get a trolley I need a trolley so I come out to the path and there's like a, a maximum amount of boxes that I can put on the trolley and I take the trolley inside and I do what I need to do with them that is the first thing second thing the ability to tell the restockers to not restock for a minute. Just be able to tell them, just like chill for a minute, have a smoko, whatever, while you're moving stuff around. And also, there was a third thing that I've already forgotten. There was a third thing, but I got distracted. Oh yeah, the ability to take things off of the shelf without having to have the exact size box for that item. You just need to be able to use a box or take it off with your hands or take it off and put it on a trolley, something like that. Um, 
because that box system you're juggling box sizes so you can move things around you've got to quickly try and put boxes down to get the label off so the restocker doesn't come and put something there as you're changing the shop around and expanding it's getting quite difficult because of those little systems so that would help a lot merging boxes is another one in yeah that's another one i said that the other night in the storeroom you might have all these boxes sitting in here taking up room there might only be two packets of sugar in a box you might have another box of sugar but the game doesn't let you transfer one like product to a box of another like product to condense your boxes down so that's another thing many many things but don't get me wrong i'm not complaining uh, they've done a great job with this game. Uh, this is a, one person has, has done this game. It's an excellent game. And they've rolled out, like, what people have asked for, they've rolled it out quick and fixed glitches quick. So this is just stuff for the future of the game, that's all. So that it um, is scalable, if you like, so that as the supermarket gets larger, it's actually possible for you to enjoy the game and build it introduce thieves and security guards they are going to do that actually so when you open the game on the menu it tells you what's coming soon there's going to be shoplifting there's going to be cctv and there's going to be security guards what do you mean you'd steal from me why would you steal from me Irk? how could you how could you look at me and then steal from me and look me in the eye Unbelievable. I was going to give you a packet of frozen french fries, but you can stick them now. You can stick them. Now we're going to move the toilet paper over here. Let's just swap the shelves, otherwise we're mucking around moving all the individual product as well. Stick them in your mouth. That's not what I had in mind. I don't know. I don't know what you get to do if there's thieves. I'm really looking forward to that actually. Honestly, if they keep listening to feedback, if they do it well, there's a lot of scope for keeping this game fresh for a really long time. So um, I am excited to see. How very dare, Irk. People in glass houses. That's what I say. Now I'm going to get another shelf. I've got enough room. Another shelf. <laughs> lovely i'm in my element here love this game so much i feel like if i was going to do a 12 hour stream it would have to be a game like this all right we're going to get some flour we're going to expand that out as well i'm not liking how this is working so we are going to oh we need some more taties all the taties have sold out sort that out first Lovely. They're nice and cheap to buy. When my money gets too low, we'll have to open so that we can get some more money coming through. I'm trying to avoid taking out loans. Loans get away from you in games like this because sometimes you take out a loan because you're kind of being impatient. You just want the money. But you might not have upgraded your store to the point where you can handle the extra interest repayments and stuff. And I don't want to go bankrupt. Let's save, by the way. I can't save while I'm holding a box for some reason. That's the rules. Oh, I've got it. Yeah, I've got it, Julia, actually. Um, I bought that in my little uh, simulator game shopping spree. There is a spring sale on Steam right now. What's today? For another three days, it's on until the 21st. I need to have a look, see if there's anything else I might like, because I think it's a good sale, isn't it? But uh, yeah, I, I should start Gas Station Sim soon. I think it'd be good. I think I'll enjoy it. Yeah, no, I haven't done one. I've never done a 12 hour. I've done an eight hour. I'm just really worried that, you know, you've, you're used to being titillated to a certain degree. What if I can't, what if I can't keep it up for 12 hours? What if I can't be titillating for 12 hours? Then what? Keeps me awake at night, Irk. Okay, let's get some baking products. I have an idea. 
We're going to get some flour. Yeah, but it's a long time to be at the computer looking at a screen, isn't it? Like, I get up and down a lot during the day. I feel like it would annoy me. Yeah, I just don't know. I don't know if I would enjoy doing it. I think it would make me feel like crap. I think I would lose my voice. Um, let's just put these on the on the shelf and see how this comes out in the wash. Some people do stream themselves sleeping, but look, to be perfectly honest, um, I'm not a big fan of the way that uh, it's not Twitch's fault. Like, it's not Twitch the company's fault, really. It's more just like what's happened over time, but. There's a little bit of an expectation, or it's become normalized, I should say, rather than an expectation. These ginormous streams have kind of been normalized on this platform. And it's like, if you want to grow, if you want people to, to discover your stream, it's almost like you're expected to sit here and stream for 8 to 12 hours, 5 days a week. It doesn't reward people based on engagement. So when you stream on platforms like TikTok or YouTube, vertical, whatever, there's an algorithm running that's pushing it out to people while you're live. So just being live, if you're getting good engagement and, and it's telling the algorithm that people are enjoying what you're doing, it's pushing it out to more and more people. On Twitch, you're just sitting here like a lemon. You're just sitting here hoping that someone's going to see your stream. So, obviously, if you stream for 8 or 12 hours, you're more likely to hit more people. You're more likely that some people will find you unrecommended. You might get a raid. But even so, it's like a grind culture that's kind of been built into the Twitch streaming. And people have become normal with doing 12-hour streams and 24-hour streams. Sometimes even 36-hour streams. It's not good for anybody to do that. You shouldn't have to do that. And I feel like it would be hard to to make good content that runs for 24 hours straight. Well, good luck, Julia. So yeah, I'm not a big fan of it. Like, I, I would rather do a stream that's maybe two to three hours long, but is higher quality than a 12-hour stream where for the last four hours I'm basically cooked and ready to get off. Uh, ooh, where's the red packet flower go? Have I made a space for it? I don't know if I have. Um, I'll put it there. What's that? Oh, bleach. I've bought too much of it. Somebody's knocked it off the little pile that I had there. Why would not let me place it on the floor? Don't do that to me. It's getting all glitchy on me now. Sometimes it doesn't let you place boxes on the floor. Like, it should be letting me do it, but it's not. That's very annoying. I don't like that. We'll put it there for now. Uh, right, so with my flour, salt. We'll have salt running along the top as well. Have I got any spare salt? No. What else goes with like, yeah, I think the powdered sugar and the salt and all of that should probably go together as well. It's all baking related products, really. They're going to all be grouped together. They seem to be selling really quickly as well, so I'd like them to have more space. So, let's go sugar. And we'll move these ones over as well and just take the label off real quick too before they get carried away. I don't want them restocking it. Lovely. It's really starting to get a nice little flow going. I'm quite satisfied with how this is uh, coming along. I'm manual saving like a psychopath with this game as well. Every single time I have a game session, I'm manually backing up my save file. Because a lot has gone into this at this point. After what happened last time, with the corrupted save file, until there's cloud saves, make sure you are manually backing up your save file if you're playing this game. Because you will cry. All right. Very good. Very nice. Now I need the other powdered sugar as well. The little yellow packets. That's going to go on at the top shelf. Pablo. 
Pablo Sugar, don't go refilling anything. I don't want you to refill. What are you doing? I left one label on the bottom, you F boy. He put one box of powdered sugar down there. That's infuriating. I'm going to have to try and move that in a minute. I forgot. I didn't realize. Just don't touch anything. Welcome to the stream. Hello, Silverly. Coming up tonight, oh. we're doing some marbles in it. Hello, Silverleaf. How are you doing on this lovely Sunday? Thank you for the biddies. Welcome. Now, we're going to put this out the back. They should do multiple saves. Yes, the multiple save thing as well. Because originally, I wanted to have two separate save files. I wanted a save file that was just for Twitch and YouTube. And I wanted a save file that was for uh, vertical streams. And then I thought, oh well. I'll have one. And then my one save file was corrupted and I lost everything. So manually back up your save file, folks. Trust me. It can happen to anyone at any time. Okay. Taking a break from your class lecture video. Oh, I know. I hear you on that. I absolutely hated doing lectures. I hated it. Um, it's not... Everybody's different, but for me, that is not an effective way to give me information. I can't focus on someone talking to me, giving me information like that for a long period of time. I, I can't focus on that. It doesn't work for me. And the person doing it, if you are going to do it, the person doing it needs to be very engaging. Like you need to have me in the palm of your hand if you want me to stay awake. And virtually no lecturer that I've ever come across has been that way. So I tune out. I used to fall asleep. And I don't fall asleep easily either. I don't just fall asleep in chairs. I'm not that kind of person. But a lecturer will do it. No problem. Boring. So I hear that. I just feel like people that give these lectures, the same with like webinars as well. I have to do webinars um, as part of my work just to keep up my um, continuing professional education, whatever they call it. Um, I have to do them quite often. They never use anyone with any pizzazz. You need a bit of pizzazz. You need a, a good sounding voice as well. There's a, someone that delivers one of these webinars and listening to their voice is really unnerving because their pitch changes constantly up and down, up and down. And oh, it's really hard. Like I like to have it on while I'm working and I find it really hard to, um, to listen to while I'm looking at something else. It's like, surely this is a skill set of its own. It's got to be like, if you're going to have someone do this, it's a skill set to be able to deliver this information in a really clear way so that I'm not losing my absolute marbles here. Right. Now, that's how I'm going to have my baking area for now. Yes, there's gaps, but I don't mind because I think the next product pack that I get has a couple of different things that are in that same group of items. So that's fine. We want some pasta now. We've sold a lot of pasta, haven't we? Everyone loves it. I think Urk came in and bought it all. Rice as well. Lovely. Then we might need to open. What's the time? Time check. 10 past 2. I should finish about 2.30 really. I know I started later. But uh, I wasn't planning on starting later. That was because OBS updates stuffed me around and I had to download a new driver. I wasn't expecting to do that. Now, rice. Rice. So anyone who has just joined, you might be lurking, you might not be chatting, whatever's going on, over on the tube or on Twitch. Um, this game now has restockers, which has helped me quite a bit. But we're at the point where the store is quite busy and stock is turning over faster than it was before. So I, I need to start planning for that and I need things to be more heavily stocked so that I'm not running around doing quite so much because that's getting a little bit annoying. 
I don't want that powdered sugar there. I'm really annoyed that Dimmy put that there. Let's see what we can do here. Will it fit in this box? It does. Good. It does. Let's just take that label off real quick. Um, we'll put this in the storeroom. And I'll get another box of... Actually, I can probably use one of these. They're probably the right size. Let's have a little look at that. Oh, for God's sakes. I need a bigger box, I think. Or maybe not. What kind of box do I need? Maybe that one will do it. Let's try that. And then take that label off. Then we'll move this elbow pasta to the bottom. We'll do spaghetti along the center. This is going to be so satisfying. We're just not going to have things running out as quick. I think it's going to make us some more money. People coming in and getting exactly what they're looking for. Right. I know I've got a bit of duplication in places. I will sort that out. I might be able to use some of those spare boxes that I've got lying around out the back. We'll have a little look at that after. Um, okay, so spaghetti goes here. We need some red packet pasta as well. Got these two just standing there like that, staring into space while I'm doing all this running around. Unbelievable. All right, so I actually need another box. I have another box. We're not going to have any backup pasta, though. That's going to be all of it. Lovely. It's looking very neat and tidy, I have to say. I feel like I did put some spare rice out the back. Did I do that? I did. Or is that elbow pasta? No, that's rice. We'll get this out as well. Oh, good luck, Silverleaf. I hope that uh, you can get through without falling asleep. You'll be doing better than me. That's done. Good, good, good. So... Let's try and move the flower off of that shelf with one of these boxes. One of them should be the right size. Thank you for the lurk as well. There's one packet left. Doesn't that just drive you insane though? One packet left. You could just lay it on the top. It would be absolutely fine. We'll put this one uh, there. Nice. Then I need to move the blue one off as well. Can I fit it in this? Where are you going? I've taken the label off. Oh, he's putting it down there, is he? That's just where I took it from. Oh, well, fuck me then. Okay. Wow, that box doesn't fit anything. Grr! Alright, it's fine. Let's not lose our heads here. Let's get the store open, actually. Let's get some stuff sold. We'll buy some oil and we'll start working on the oil shelves. We can do that while people are here. Absolutely fine. Otherwise, I'm going to run out of money. If we keep buying stuff with nobody coming in, I'm going to run out of cash. No good. Uh, now, let's go. Let's play around with this a little bit. I actually want to move this around. So we'll take that label off. We'll move these. Then I'll get some of the yellow oil to fill. Uh, this one. Nice. Don't even think about it. It's done. Oh, here we go. There's our first glitch of the day. Glitching out on the oil now. No, don't put it there. I've taken the label off for it. He's putting the wrong product on there as well. No. Just get out of the way, you idiot. Oh, it's a right mess now. Move. We're going to have to take some of those green bottles off. Or we need to fill it fully so that he realises it's done. That usually solves the problem. Let's fill it fully. And he should nick off then. Idiot. There we go. Lovely. That's fixed. It's all too much for Dimmy. He's been stood there doing nothing all morning. Has to do one thing. Instantly stuffs it up. 
Unbelievable. If you want something done right, do it yourself. Right, so we'll put these straight out the back for restock. Uh, over here. Do, 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 do. A bit of the pan flute on the backing track. What's in there? Oh, that's the yellow oil. Do, 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 do. Nice. So, that leaves us with... We'll have a spare shelf next to it, basically. Um, by the time I get that flower moved... Somebody, somebody told me it was a pan flute recently. We'll get that flower moved, but I don't know what I'll put there. What should I put next to it? Maybe I'll leave it blank for a new product line as, as it uh, expands. That might be the way to go. And we'll get some more honey and peanut butter because that's consistently selling out as well. And get an extra one in the storeroom as well. This is good. This is the stuff that, uh, before they did the restocking update, this is the stuff that you wanted to do. Like, you wanted to get things organised, move things around, but it was really hard to do it because um, there was just too much to do to keep the shop running, so it was sort of unsatisfying. Hang on, let's get that honey label off. No! And then we'll move the peanut butter and we'll get that label off. Stop it, go away, it's done. Right, so we've got peanut butter on the top and we'll do honey on the bottom. We can put these in the storeroom and let them do it now because we've set the, uh, the shelves to be what we want them to be. I think I did actually. Did I do a second row? No, I need a second row of honey though. Otherwise they won't know to put it on that shelf. Because once you put your item there, it will put a little product label there. And they know what they're doing sometimes, not always. Very good. Very good. So we've got a little system going now. And the honey out the back. At the bottom. Lovely. Alright, so it's four o'clock. I might make this my last shop day. I've got $735. The eggs are too expensive, you say? Are they? Oh, they're $260 a packet! <laughs> oh no! I must have... Uh, <laughs> I'm making $258 a packet. Do you reckon anybody bought one? It'd be worth it if just one person bought one. I must have forgot the um, decimal point. $2.60. Yeah, fair play. It's a bit outrageous, isn't it? We'll get some cheese. And some turco parmesan cheese and turco so uh, soda. Turco soda. And eggs as well. Keep everything. Whoops, 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 whoops. Everything stopped. I know, it's just $250 for a four pack of eggs. That's good, isn't it? You wouldn't want to drop one on the floor, you'd cry. Right, so we have 12 pack eggs there. I think I've actually got too many of those. I haven't left any space for a uh, 8 pack of eggs, which needs to go in the middle. Oh, don't restock it though. Hang on, I want to change it. Don't touch it! So they're right onto it when you don't want them to be. So we have our $250 eggs. Be very careful with those. They're full. Unsurprisingly, people weren't going crazy for the uh, $250 eggs, funnily enough. I need to stop buying them. I've been buying them every time, assuming that people are buying them. So I've got them all, you know, getting salmonella out the back. So theoretically, I should be able to increase my prices on those. Turco Cola. It's good, though. Generally speaking, the store is staying very... Um, well stocked. We're not really seeing complaints from people about products running out. That's exactly what we want. 
Because if you've got a whole lot of people coming in complaining that they can't find what they want, that's just money that you're losing. Money that they're not spending. Right, so we want the eight pack eggs in the middle. Do I not have those? I thought I just bought some. The eggs are kind of annoying. They look the same. It's really confusing between the 8-pack and the 12-pack when you're uh, looking at the boxes and the labels. They don't really look that different. Right, so that's done. We have um, enough cheese to get us through. We want water. I might move that water as well. We have too much of it there. That's just so I could fill the shelves with it. Water and also some of those boxed products whatever the hell that was, and some chicken. But we'll just load it up for tomorrow because I can't do an order tonight. Chicken. It's very dark outside. It looks like it's going to rain. I, I can't remember the last time it rained. It's barely been raining. Um, what else did I want? Whatever's in those boxes. Whatever's in those boxes. Um, at the bottom. What is it that's down there? Uh, it must be this. The scallops. A couple of those as well. What's on these labels here? Oh, toilet paper's run out. Oh, no. Toilet paper as well. Toilet paper's a thing. Hello, Ahmed. How you doing? Going quite well. We are actually... We're running a slick supermarket. It really is coming together. Beautiful. So it's nine o'clock. The last of the customers will be done in a minute. We'll let the day end. And then in the morning, I'll just do an order of those things that I've been loading up. Um, we do need to move the coffee. That's fine. Not a big deal. We need to figure out what's going to go next to the peanut butter and the honey. Might get some more bread and pasta, actually. I'm really glad we made this uh, bigger because it's still selling really well. Completely blue skies. Yeah, no blue skies. No blue skies. Pasta. What else did I want? Um, toilet. Did I get toilet paper already? Oh, I've run out of space anyway. We have to... Keep it to 10 items and under. Welcome back, Fitz. How how was it? How was it? It's warm today. It's like a, a humid day. Susu sugar and craft dug flour. Susu sugar. It's a warm, heavy, cloudy kind of day. Six ninety, that's a nice price, I feel. Lovely. It's not bad weather. It's not like bad, bad weather. It's just... It's like that weird autumn weather. That lousy, smart weather. Really. It's what it is. Alright, we're going to have our... Uh, toilet paper all restocked. Get these off the road as well. Good session today. Got a little expansion done. Didn't end up buying a new product line because it actually didn't make sense to do that right now. What made sense was to expand the space given to existing products because they're selling so well now. You think they're done? Good. That's the worst thing as well. If you're doing a meeting and you're kind of hot and uncomfortable, it's like it gives you a bad temper. Well, it does me. Is that just me? Like, you can't be bothered and people take too long to say what they need to say as well. It's like they're just... Love hearing the sound of their own voice. So for God's sakes, Barb, I'm sure you could have said that 69 times faster. Nobody cares. Nobody cares. Yeah, we'll have a little agreement where basically nobody has to experience a season that they don't enjoy. There's nothing worse when you're feeling like a meeting is wrapping up. Like you feel like it's wrapping up and then there's that one person at the end that's like, Oh, yeah, by the way... Um, it's not on the agenda. It's not on the agenda, but you know, let's um, let's bring up a really complex topic that I haven't warned anybody about. 
Uh, every, let's get everyone involved. We'll talk about it now. Everyone's over it, but we'll go for another two hours and we'll reach no conclusions whatsoever because nobody's had a chance to think about it because it wasn't on the agenda. Go away. Go away. Go over there. Go stand over there. Get out. Okay. Bottled water. Bottled water I am storing at the back of the room. Over here or somewhere. Where am I storing it? Bloody hell am I doing with the bottled water? Maybe it's here. Oh, who even cares? Just chuck it there for now. Got too many boxes now. Honestly, that's what it's like though. The amount of action is related to... Yep, yeah, absolutely. That's my other gripe with meetings, okay? If you're telling me we need one, sure. Okay, but what are we gaining from doing it? What's the idea of it? What's going to happen? Is there going to be a reason? Are we doing it so that XYZ happens within this time frame? If that's all loosey-goosey, if you don't know the answers to any of that stuff, I'm not going to the meeting. I've got stuff to do. I've got actual work to do. Let me alone. Because we can't just go and sit around and be like, yeah, and nod our heads, and then everyone just wanders off and nothing happens. What is the bloody points? So much time wasted. That's what I used to hate about working in an office. I'm in control of it now because I work for myself. But when I used to get called into pointless meetings and I had no choice, oh my god, I hated it. And the people that have the least to do, the least responsibilities, usually the most pay as well, they're the ones that are the worst, calling these constant meetings to make it seem like they have a job that's actually needed. And pulling all the people away from doing the actual work that's keeping the business running. It's infuriating. Right, so that stocks up the, well, a little bit of the toilet paper. We're looking good. So... I can I get it when can I get my third cashier by the way when can we get Simi back from unpaid leave let's just have a little look at that uh, let's pay those bills as well I always forget too busy for bills <clears throat> so when we get to level 30 I'm on level 27 level 30 um, and I have to also do 900 completed checkouts so we're on 614 so we're a little bit of a way off what I might do I might buy, once we've got our stock expanded out the way that I want to, I'll buy a third counter and I'll jump on it when it gets busy so we can get more customers through, get more checkouts done quicker. Yeah, that's what we'll do. Beautiful. All right. Lovely. I'm going to make sure I back this up as well. I have a, I have a, what's the word? I have a um, compulsion to save obsessively now ever since I lost all of my data. All right. Thank you for being here, everybody. I can't use my stream deck, can I? Because bloody OBS update, the audacity of this. Thank you for being here, everyone, um, for our little day stream of Supermarket Sim. I should be live later tonight. I'm planning on doing my first um, YouTube vertical live. So I've been doing, some of you would know, some of you won't. I've been doing some TikTok lives. I'm really enjoying it. I'm going to bring that format over to YouTube uh, starting tonight. I might just do it once a week on Mondays until I figure out what I want to do with it. I'll probably do Supermarket Sim tonight on YouTube. So if you're not following it already, the uh, links to my socials are here. Integrating vertically and streamlining things in general. Those are all my socials there. So I'm doing uh, vertical lives on TikTok and YouTube. I would do them on Instagram. I might restream to Instagram at some point, um, but at the moment I don't really want to focus on it too much because it just doesn't go out to very many people. So we'll see what happens there. Um, thanks for being here, everybody. Thanks to the new folks that came along and followed, and thanks to everyone over on YouTube for joining as well. I'm going to end the YouTube stream now, and hopefully I'll catch you next time. Don't forget to like and subscribe so you're notified when I go live, and I will catch you next time over on the tube. And everyone on Twitch. <laughs>